Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. What a privilege it is to share with you the supernatural word for the day. Today is Friday, March 11th, 2022. Daddy gives us the theme for the day, which is put God's will first. Put God's will first. Daddy gives us the theme from the book of First Samuel, chapter 15 and verse 30, which says, Then he said, I have sinned, yet honor me now. I pray thee before the elders of my people and before Israel and turn again with me that I may worship the Lord thy God. Daddy tells us that when the prophet of God told Saul that he had been rejected from being king, instead of Saul failing to repent before God, he grabbed the prophet and told him, honor me before the people. Saul was a man of the people. Has God ever asked you to do anything and all your opinions were the people, the people? God says, go and sing in the choir. And then your answer is, how can the people see me? God can never lift a people conscious person. Hallelujah. Daddy tells us that sometimes in church when some people are praising God, they want everybody to see their watch or their ring instead of concentrating on worshiping God. They are busy advertising themselves before God. I am not saying do not rejoice over your blessings. Rejoice and shout over the mountaintop, but have God in your focus. Hallelujah. Let God be the focus of your life. Saul lost his kingdom just because of the people. He was a man of the people. He always wanted to do what the people thought was right. He was a man who liked popularity. God doesn't promote this kind of people. Hallelujah. The happiest thing that can ever happen to anybody is they fulfilling the Lord's will for their life. What is the will of God for your life? Have you found out what the will of God for your life is? Do not be like Saul who was afraid to fulfill the will of God for his life because of his Daddy gives us the meditation scriptures for the day, which are coming from the book of Psalms chapter 37 and verse 4, which says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And from the book of Romans chapter 8 to verse 5 to 8, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Hallelujah. Daddy gives us the one-year Bible study plan, which is coming from the book of Leviticus, chapter 22 and chapter 23, and from the book of Psalms, chapter 37. Praise be to God. Daddy gives us the prophetic declaration for the day. Brothers and sisters, let us lift our holy hands and declare his words after me. My life is for the glory of God. Everything that concerns me is for the glory of God. I submit myself to the leadership of the Holy Spirit and by the Spirit of God I will fulfill the Lord's will for my life in Jesus' mighty name. Oh Shatala Brada Bakose Li Pranda Bazile Manda Li Pranda Basunta Li Baba Baba Jele Kele Prada Zile Kele Manda Li Pradosia. Father, we thank you that we put your will first in all things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom.